Next portion is geometrical meaning of finding the zero or zeros of a polynomial. Geometrical meaning. Of find the zero or zeros of a polynomial. It is very simple to find the zero or zeros of a polynomial if we draw the graph of the polynomial. A linear equation means its graph is a line. A graph of the linear equation is what? It is a line. Graph of a quadratic polynomial. We cannot draw the graph of a polynomial directly. So we convert the polynomial into a function. How can we convert a polynomial into a function? p of x is equal to ax plus b a not equal to 0 is a polynomial. And uh, we draw the graph of y is equal to ax plus b. First of all, we draw the graph of y is equal to ax plus b. And how we can find its zero is find the x coordinate of the graph of y is equal to x plus b intersects the x axis. How can we find the zero of a linear polynomial from the graph? P of x is equal to x plus b in a linear polynomial. Y is equal to x plus b in the variable graph. First of all, draw the graph of y is equal to x plus b in the polynomial is p of x is equal to x plus b. Another one. Graph of x axis meet the point in the graph. To find the point in which the graph intersects the x-axis. A graph of x-axis is a point in the intersect the graph. A point is a point in the zero point. Clear. Let us discuss it with an example. Example P of X is equal to X plus a linear polynomial. So I am going to draw the graph of Y is equal to X plus 2. Y is equal to X plus 2 in the graph like the graph. So X of Y. If we put x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 2. If we put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 plus 2, 2. If we put x is equal to another value, x is equal to 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So we get 2 values. Now, I am going to draw the graph of this function. Here 0. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Positive x-axis and positive y-axis. We uh, require positive axis only. All these values are positive. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4. First point. We are taking points like this. 
means when x is equal to 0, y is equal to x is 0, y 2. This is the point. Next point is when x is equal to x is equal to v is equal to 4. So that point is obtained by taking a vertical line from 2 and uh, here just mark an intersect from 4 v is equal to 4. This is the point of intersection of x is equal to and v is equal to 4. So the point is 2, 4 is this point. Now we draw a graph using these two points. Draw a straight line using these two points. Here we have to extend the graph to intersect the x-axis. Only then we can find the zero of this linear equation. Here it intersect here. The point is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, etc. This is x dash axis, isn't it? This is the graph of v is equal to x plus 2. Now how we can find the zero of this polynomial using this graph? As I said, we find the point of intersection of the graph and the x-axis. The graph of the line we see like x plus 2 means the x-axis at minus 2. This graph means the x-axis at minus 2. So, 0 of this polynomial is minus 2. Isn't it? And I zero and I will graph the x axis in the x axis in the x axis in the point in the intersect of the x axis in the x axis in minus 2 will intersect the x axis minus 2 I in the linear polynomial the zero of the y. So here zero of P of x z equal x plus 2 is minus 2. This is minus 2. Now, here we know that 0 of so 0 of P of x is equal to minus constant term p of x is equal to minus constant term divided by coefficient of x. This is the formula to find the zero of p of x. That is equal to minus, what about constant term here? 2 divided by coefficient of x is 1. So we get minus 2. This way we can easily find the zero of a polynomial. Zero of a polynomial by using algebraic method, by using graphical method. Like the algebraic method you see, the graphical method you see, the put a polynomial in the zero number common at the start. Let us take another example. We is equal to p of x is equal to two x plus three. It implies that v is equal to 2x plus 3. And uh, when x is equal to 0, v is equal to 2 into 0 plus 3. And when x is equal to minus uh, 1, v is equal to 2 into minus 1 plus 3. X in our middle of the system, we can give any values for X. Our X value for the corresponding angle of Y value function in another control. Now, the schedule is X1. X is 0. 
sino here we get three y is equal to three and when x is equal to minus one y is equal to minus two plus three is one x के लिए एक क्वेश्चन x के लिए दूसरा वैल्यू आना होता है ना शायद ग्राफ को सेम आना होता है तो सॉल्यूशन को सेम आना होता है बहुत अच्छा ये लोग नाम किस नाम वाले रंग वैल्यूज़ में तो सेलेक्टेड प्रैक्टिस नाउ द ग्राफ इज This x and y axis. Here, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3, and when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 is here. x is equal to minus 1, y is 1 here. What is here? Now, we draw a steady line using these two points. This is the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 3 and this graph intersects the x-axis at here. This point is 1.5 that is 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2. This point is minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1.5 is it therefore 0 of p of x is equal to minus 3 by 2 let us check algebraically here 0 of P of x is equal to minus a constant term that is minus b by a coefficient of x minus here b is 3 divided by a is coefficient of x that is minus 3 by 2. 0 of x using graphical method is minus 3 by 2 and is an algebraic method which is also minus 3 by 2 isn't it? Rather, render the PDM 0 same thing like it. Right? If you have 0 or 2, you have a graph in the 0 or 2, you have a graph of x-axis in the intersect of the point of 0. If the graph intersects the x-axis at one point, it has only one zero. This way, we can find the zero of a polynomial by using graphical as well as algebraic method, isn't it? For algebraic method, zero of a linear polynomial or a first degree polynomial is minus constant term divided by coefficient of x and in the graphical method or geometrical method draw the graph of the linear polynomial the graph of a linear polynomial is a straight line and then check whether the point of intersection of the graph and the x-axis and that point is known as zero of the required linear polynomial isn't it? Rather, for a graph of x-axis and intersecting a point on a linear polynomial, 
zero moment uh, in the case of uh, geometrical method. Now we are going to find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial means a polynomial is of the form p of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c and a is not equal to zero. If a is equal to zero, it becomes c a linear polynomial that is zero in the x square is zero then we get only bx plus c that is the form of a linear polynomial. We are going to check the zeros of a quadratic polynomial using graphical method, isn't it? Polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4. To find the graph of this polynomial, let us take let o is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4. Now we are telling some points x, y. Let us take minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let me take some points uh, on the x-axis and uh, we have to find the corresponding points on the y-axis. When x is equal to first point is when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to x minus 2. Y is equal to minus 2 the whole square minus 3 into minus 2 minus 4. So we get 4 plus 6 minus 4 that is 6. And when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 the whole square minus 3 into minus 1 minus 4. So we get minus 1 whole square is 1 plus 3 minus 4 that is 0. Now when x is equal to next point is 0, y is equal to 0 square minus 3 into 0 minus 4, so it becomes minus 4. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 square minus 3 into 1 minus 4. 1 minus 3 minus 4, 1 minus 7 minus 6. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 square minus 3 into 2 minus 4. That is 4 minus 6 minus 4, that is minus 6. And when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3 square minus 3 into 3 minus 4. That is 9 minus 9 minus 4 that is that becomes minus 4 and uh, when x is equal to 4 y is equal to 4 square minus 3 into 4 minus 4 so 16 minus 12 minus 4 that is 0 and when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 square minus 5 into 3 into 5 minus 4 so it becomes 25 minus 15 that is 10 minus 4 minus 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. Since x minus 2 y is 6, x of 5 is 6. So we can now uh, we have only this much points. When x is equal to minus 2, 6. Minus 1, 0. 0 is minus 4. 1 is uh, minus 6. 2 is minus 6. Then 3 is uh, minus 4. Then 0, then 6. These are the x and y coordinates. Now we can draw the graph of this. 
polynomial. Yeah. Now we can plot these points. When x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 6. x minus 2, y is 6. Draw a line perpendicular right from 2 and uh, intersect from 6. This is the point. Minus 2, 6. Next point is minus 1, 0. When x is equal to minus one, we is equal to zero. This is the point. This point is minus one zero. Now when x is equal to zero, is equal to minus four. X is zero, we is zero is here. Minus four is. This point is zero minus four. Now one minus six. When x is equal to one, we is equal to minus six is here. 1 minus 6 and when x is equal to 2 is equal to minus 6 again x is equal to draw a line from here and either side from this point this is the point of 2 minus 6 1 minus 6 2 minus 6 Now three minus three minus four. From three, draw a line perpendicular to x axis and intersect from minus four. This is the point. Three minus four. And uh, what about four? Four zero. Yeah, four and five. One more point is there. Four zero is here. Now next point is five six. Five or six uh, is draw a perpendicular from five and uh, intersect from six. This is the point five six. Five or six. Now we can plot these points. From it's now minus one, it comes here, then minus six, minus six, then it goes like this. This graph is known as a parabolic graph. So, graph of a quadratic polynomial is known as a parabola. There are two parabolic curves. One is an upward parabola. This is known as upward parabola. 
and this one graph that is a downward parabola. Downward. In the polynomial P of x, if a is greater than zero, if a is greater than zero, in the polynomial P of x is equal to x square plus b x plus c. This is the quadratic polynomial, and if a is greater than zero, the curve is an upward parabola. Here, a a is coefficient of x square it is here it is one, which is greater than zero. So we get an upward parabola. If a is less than zero, a less than zero, that is, if a is negative or if the coefficient of x square is negative, then the curve is a downward parabola. As it is. Now we are going to find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial. How okay, can we find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial? Let us. Find the point of intersection of the curve and the x-axis here. The curve means the x-axis at here and the here. This point is 4, 0 and this point is 5, 6. Here the curve intersect the x-axis at minus 1 and 4. So the zeros of this polynomial, zeros of this polynomial of zeros of p of x are minus 1 and the uh, other zero is 4. These are the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 3x minus 4, isn't it? This way, if we have a quadratic polynomial, Take some points on x-axis, find y coordinates, and draw a graph and check and find the point of intersection of the graph and the x-axis. They are the zeros of the polynomial p of x, isn't it? This way, I am giving some homework for finding the zero or zeros of a linear as well as quadratic polynomials my dear students if you find in a difficulty to draw the graph of a quadratic as well as linear polynomial i will give you some more examples isn't it in the next class we will study the relationship between the coefficients and the zeros of a linear as well as quadratic and the cubic polynomials Okay.